Wire here, Wire Lady TV happening every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So yeah, we had a busy couple of weeks. We finished up the 10 day spring ring making challenge. That was super fun. And uh, now I'm getting back to my regular live streams where I'm doing cut, uh, like custom wire uh, special requests for different like jewelry and wire art and stuff. And I had a few people request lighthouses. So that's what we're working on today. Those are the sketches. So um, I don't have a lot of time today. I'm going to try to keep it down to an hour. So we're going to see how we do. Hi, Amber. How are you? First one on. So I'm going to flip the screen and get started. So there we go. Flip it around. There's uh, no more snow outside. That's nice. Beautiful sunny day in Montreal. We're going to bring this one around. You can see the sketches and I'll pull up the video on my computer so I could see your um, comments and stuff. That's amazing. So yes, I am doing great today and we are just going to get started. And I, as always, I haven't done any samples for this yet. I'm just going uh, like right into it uh, using my sketches to see what we can come up with. So what are we going to use? We're going to get some tools. I have my needle nose pliers. These are from Zoran. Maybe I'll lift this up a little bit so we're not like so close to this screen. We're going to see how we're doing. Hi Clarice, nice to see you. There's something in the way here. I think it's just a string. Let me just move this around a little bit. I'm going to refresh my page too so because I think there's a delay between my video and there we go. Now I can see. So uh, now we've got our round nose pliers, my favorite round nose pliers, cutters, and I have a bunch of other things. So let's just start going for it. I have some 20 gauge wire. I'm really low on wires, so we're going to just see what we can do with this. I'll start with 20 gauge. I think this would be the easiest. I also like the idea of doing a um, lighthouse in a frame. So I'm going to do a couple of different ideas. So maybe I'll start with a basic lighthouse and then we can do a lighthouse in a frame. So let's do that. And I'll just start by taking a bunch of 20 gauge wire. And let me know in the comments what you guys are working on, if you have any new uh, projects, uh, wire art projects, other art projects. And for those of you who don't know, I also have an art channel. So I do all kinds of um, art tutorials and different things on that channel too. So let's go ahead and just start. You know, my motto is just start by starting. I had also thought about doing uh, design with beads but I couldn't find any beads this is the only bead that I could find that was even moderately close to a lighthouse like I was thinking you can stack them up and do a kind of a lighthouse with a bead but and this would be cool you could paint actually paint this bead because it's wood so I might work on that another time doing some little painted uh, beaded uh, lighthouses let me know in the comments if you've ever made something like that Hi Corey, nice to see you. Uh, but today let's just do the wire ones for now. I also like this one with the little the little spiral around it. So, and I was thinking it'd be cool with little waves. We could also do the waves like in the frame. So maybe I'll just start, I'll do something like this and we'll see how it goes. So I'm just gonna take this one and I'm gonna try a few of those little rocks at the bottom. I think it might be cute. I mean, I don't have to do the rocks. The rocks could also be beads, but let's just try them like this, just because I always like trying new things. So, hi, Kat, nice to see you. So we're gonna just start bringing this one around. If we bend this one up and then bring this one around. And then we're gonna bring this one over here. And maybe I'll just do like a few rocks just for fun. I really don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to see. So we're going to bring this one around behind a little bit. Doesn't really, looks like a tall skinny rock, but that's okay. We're going to do that. And maybe I'll just do three to keep it simple. So we've got that one and that one. And then one here. I think the rocks might not be super successful, but that's okay. So we're gonna bring this one. Actually, I wanna do a, a, a door too. So let's just do the door at the bottom. I'm gonna bring this one up and then bring this one across and bring it down. Hi, Carmen. 
Love the scenes in the circles. Yes, I think I'm definitely going to do a, at least one in the circle as well. And then as always, you guys can use these ideas and create your own designs, you know, based on what we do here and then based on, you know, your own ideas too. So that's the fun thing about these live streams is it just is good to give you guys some ideas of what you can do. Uh, yourselves too. So now this is just, they're sort of like stylized rocks with a little door there. And we're going to bring this one around and then bring that one over. Okay. So this would be the starting point and then we're going to work our way up. So I'm going to actually bring this in a little bit. So the rock goes a little bit beyond the lighthouse. And then this one here, we want to kind of center that door so I'll flip it so it's easier to bend and we're going to bring that one up here so this would be the starting point of the light lighthouse hi Constantine hello hola hello so we're going to bring this one up here and then if you want to do little windows this got a little bit kinked too but if you want to do some little windows we're just going to make them little stylus we're going to bring this one over here bring it over here and then bend this one down and then bend this one over. We don't want them too big. They're usually windows are like long and skinny type of things. So we're going to bring this one up here and then over because I want it to be kind of inside, like not just right at the side. So that works well. And then we're going to bring this one up. And it's hard to get in that little nook and cranny. I, uh, hi, Olivia. Amber said, I saw an amazing saying that reads, art is a conversation, and it was in reference to artistic inspiration. I love that, Amber, and it's so true. It's uh, That's a great quote. I love that. I have to remember that. Maybe you could DM it to me. So now we have this one. It got a little warbly, but that gives you the idea. And then we want one a little bit higher up here. So we're going to do one up here. And... Yeah, to me, art is all about like inspiring each other, exploring different ideas. It is like a conversation. I love that. So we're going to bring this one over here, try to make it about the same size and bring that one up here. Push it in maybe a little bit more. I want you to get these as skinny as possible, but it's hard. It's actually hard to get in that nook and cranny. So maybe if I pull it from this side. If I pull it from this side, it might work better. It's just a little bit, or get my round pliers in there. They're a little bit smaller. So we're going to bring that one in here. Bring that over here, and then over, and then up again. Okay, so there we have, so far, not too bad. We've got our windows. Thank you so much, Clarice. So Clarice just shared the Wiremakers Club group on, um, that's our group on Facebook. So if you're not already a member and you want to join that group, it's a private group for um, wire art and jewelry, wire jewelry makers. Not any jewelry, just wire jewelry. We don't uh, really um, do like just beading or anything. But if you're a wire artist or want to be a wire artist and want to learn about wire art and jewelry, wire jewelry making, you can definitely join the group if you're not already a member. So there we go. So we have the windows and then now we need this little thing at the top. So we're going to do that. Hi, Brandy. Uh, everyone hit the like button. Thank you. Hi, Connie. How are you? And so now we want to bring this one across to make like a kind of a a little division between this and the and the light. So we're going to bring this one across here and we are going to bring this one across. Let's just get it somewhat even. Bring that one across here. So when I do want to do a line across something, this is often what I do. I do one wire one way, one wire the other way. And then because it goes a little bit beyond there, I'm going to bring it up a bit. Hi, Joan. How are you? Gorgeous day. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day here too. So now we're going to bring this one up a little bit beyond the lighthouse, but maybe not too much beyond. So we're going to bring that one up here and then this one over here. And now we could check if they're somewhat even. That one might have to go over a little bit more. So we're going to bring this one over a little bit more. Okay, it's pretty good. And then we want to bring it back. So we're going to bring this one back this way. We're not going to really do those little grids in there because it, we're, we don't have that much room. So I'm just going to make this like a stylized little, little ledge here. And then we want to bring 
this straight up again. And then this side, we're going to bring this one straight up. There we go. Perfect. So this is, we've got the basic shape. And then I do want to do some kind of bead or some kind of light. Oh, it'd be cute to do like a little dangling one. But I don't think I have enough room for a dangling light. So what I'm going to do is bring this one across. Okay, just bring that one across. And then I probably would want to add more beads to this. But that's okay. So I'm going to bring this one straight down. Straight down. And I'll put a bead at the top. I guess it should be red, maybe. I think the, I think the light is red. Maybe not. So a uh, yellow miracle bead. Do you think yellow is yellow is better than red, um, Amber? I wasn't sure if it was a red light or a yellow light. But if you say yellow, I'll do yellow. There we go. So I am going to put the yellow light on there. Perfect. And then we're going to wrap that around. So we're going to get that one in there and we're just going to wrap it around here. And then I'm going to wrap it to the back because I like to have it surrounded with wire. Yellow, yes. Awesome. So we're going to bring this one up. So this is what we have so far. Let's see if it's going to hold in place. It's kind of cool. Yeah, this is definitely a work in progress. So we're going to see how it does. We're going to bring that one straight across here. And then this one, where it's going to have to go back the other way. So we're going to take this one and go back this way, back and forth. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then now we need to bring this one straight up. So, oh, it actually goes beyond this picture I did. It goes beyond a little bit. So we can do that too. And white works too. Cool. So yeah, yes, yellow. Okay, everybody likes the yellow. That's awesome. Great idea, Amber. So now we're going to take this one up here, curve it around. Same here, we're going to take this one here and curve it around. And that is looking pretty good. So now we've got that. We're going to bring that one over. And then, as always, you need something to hang it with. So we are going to just take this, bend it straight up. And then we're going to take this one bring it around. It'd be fun to do a little ring too. I'm going to see what I could do about a ring after as well. So there, there's that. This one comes in a bit and we're just going to take this, bring it around, give that a tug and lots of lighthouses where I live. Aren't you lucky? Yeah, that was, that would be really nice. I mean, we do have a lake at the bottom of our street. Uh, there are, there is a lighthouse, I think it's a more decorative light, lighthouse in Lachine, which is a couple towns down from us. I mean, we're, we're in the suburbs, we're in a pretty urban center, we're in Montreal, but we're on the West Island, so it's quiet. It's more quiet, but very residential. So there are, there, there is a decorative lighthouse in Lachine, which is kind of cool. I don't think it's functional. So then this is our little loop at the top and around, but I would love to go to the east coast of Canada sometime. I have a friend out there in New Brunswick, and I would love to go see her. So there we go. Uh, yeah, jealous. Ditto. Yeah, the ocean would be a lovely place to live. So there we go. So we've got that one, which is pretty good for a first try, guys. I Let me know if you have any suggestions that might make it more look more lighthousey, but this is so this is the first one what we've got so far and um it's got the rocks it's got the door it's got the windows and that's it for that great lakes cool nice hi Trilin. nice to see you so let's do another one let's do one of these ones in the frame so for that i'm going to get a thicker wire i will get 18 gauge to start so I've got my 18 gauge wire and I will cut a pretty big piece, not big, that big, maybe this big. And I'm going to give that a little cut and there we go. So it screams lighthouse to me. Yes, that's great feedback. Awesome. That's just what I need to know. So I'm going to keep that one at the side. That's a good reference. And like I said, you guys could put your own spin on these designs. So let's go ahead and do the frame. And we are going to bend that at a right angle. I do this type of design a lot where I just make the frame 
and then fill it in with different things. So let's do one that's about this size, not too small, not too big, and we're gonna turn it around. What's wrong with this thing? Hang on. Uh, I think it's okay. Let me just see if this is okay. I think it's good. So I'm gonna just let me know if the if the uh, stream is okay because it said my battery was low, but now I'm not sure what's going on with that. So better now. Okay. So maybe it wasn't quite maybe it wasn't quite plugged in. Hopefully it's okay now. I'm just gonna check that. I think it's all right. Yeah. The, we do not want this thing to conk out in the middle of the live stream. So now we're gonna take this and bring that one around. I think it's my charger. I think it's not the best charger that I have, so that's okay. Uh, Const uh, Constantine says, on my island, Puerto Rico, we have lighthouses. Very nice. That's beautiful. Okay, so here is the frame for the lighthouse. And then now, I kind of like this idea with the light going out. We can try that one. So let me get... Either 20 or 22 gauge wire. I'm just going to see what this one is. This one's a little bit thin, but it might be easier to work with. So you know what? I'm going to use the 22 just to try it. It stopped and restarted. Okay, Carmen, I think it, that was my bad. I think it was my charger that wasn't working too well. So I'm hoping it's okay now. And if I get a little pop-up for my battery again, I will... Um, I guess I'll have to change my charger or something. I'm gonna to have to see what I can do about that. So now I'm gonna take a big piece of 22 uh, gauge wire. Uh, moving to Costa Rica as far as I know, kind of scary. Ooh, very cool. I, I did go to Costa Rica one year for a, a retreat, but it's a little too hot for my liking. So um, I'm not a hot climate kind of girl. So now, uh, so that, I'm going to put this in. I bet you'll love it, though. If, if you like warm climates and um, uh, there's beautiful, like, animals and landscape and the ocean and, uh, yeah, it's, and actually there's a big variety in Costa Rica. There's, like, the rainforest, which is cooler, and then there's the beaches, which are in Monte. We were in Montezuma, so that was, uh, it was pretty warm. So now we're going to take this one around and bring that one right around. This is gonna be like a little more labor intensive, I think this one, but we're gonna see. Actually, I probably should have done the base in a, in a thicker wire, but I'm just gonna try this and see what happens. And as always, you guys can just do your own thing with it, depending on your uh, wire and stuff. So let me just bring this one around here a little more. Bring that one up here. I'm gonna bring this one in. Maybe it should be a little bit bigger. So we're gonna bring this one in here. And is it humid? Uh, the rainforest is humid. Uh, the rest of Costa Rica, I don't remember. I don't remember it being as humid as when I went to Mexico. When I went to Merida in Mexico, that was killer humid. I remember getting off the plane and not being able to breathe, but Costa Rica by the water wasn't so bad. And then the rainforest is more humid, but it's cool. So, uh, yeah, there's a real variety of um, climates there. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Very nice people. So now we are going to do this. I actually met a lady selling jewelry on the street in Montezuma, and we became friends, and we're Facebook friends now. So that was really cool. So uh, now I'm going to keep this simple, I think. I think I'll do the outline first, and then I'll see what I can do with this. So we're going to bring this one this way. And bring this one the other way. Maybe that's too far apart. Bring this one. This this one I think I'm going to struggle with because the trouble with this type of design is there's a lot of options. So it's the decision making that is the hardest part for designs like this, like deciding exactly how you want to do things. So we're going to just see what we can do. I might have opted for a thicker wire for the outline, but we're going to see what we're doing. Uh, Trilin says, I'm from Wisconsin, would love something less humid. Okay, so sorry, I'm going to change my uh, battery because I think it's not behaving. So let me just see if I can find a different a charger for my phone because it's, it's not working very well. So let me, I'm just going to be right back. Have a look at these while I go look for the charger. 
And um, I might have to start again, but I'm going to see what I can do. And now I can't find my other charger, so let me just look. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh my goodness, this is not what I needed today, but unless I charge it into my, you know what, I'm going to charge it into my computer. That's going to be easier. Hopefully that's good. Let me just cross that out. Let me know if that's better. I charged it into my computer, so let me know if that's better, and uh, hopefully, hopefully that's going to work. Sorry about the glitch, guys. Okay, so now we're going to start again, and... Ah, let me see. I've got some comments here. Hi, Angel Chakra from the UK. Damp there. Yeah, that I know. Mirta. Hi, Mirta. How are you? We're doing lighthouses. Better now. Awesome. And Miss uh, Mrs. Indifferent. Hello. So now let's just keep going with this. Hopefully the uh, hopefully we're going to be okay now. I've plugged it into my computer. I think that's a better option. So now let's just do this one here. I'm not loving how this lighthouse is looking, so I actually might even change it. We're gonna see, we're gonna bring this one up. I find it very, very thin. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, let's, I, you guys know me. I just, when I'm not enjoying something and how it's turning out, I'm just gonna pull it back. So we're gonna pull this one back uh bella russia oh my goodness wow well stay safe where you are for sure and um, i am going to take this 20 gauge i think so let's try again guys sorry to backpedal i'm gonna go back to the 20 gauge wire i could also do it in gold which might be interesting in fact i'm gonna do it in gold yeah i am i'm like indecisive today i'm hopping from one thing to another but it's okay. So, Mirta sewing purses. Is it difficult? This is um this is a pretty advanced design what I'm doing. Like I I'm definitely have uh issues sometimes when I do these live streams because I am just uh, winging it. What's happening, guys? Okay, I have to figure this out again. So, I am going to Get another extension cord, I think, or my other charger, because this is really not working very well. So let me try again. I'm going to take this and try to find another charger. Here we go. Here, I got another plug. Let's try this one. We're going to try a third time, guys, to plug this in and see how it goes. Okay, let's try this. <sighs> Sorry guys. Okay, now we're gonna do the lighthouse with the gold. So what I'm gonna do instead of starting from the bottom, I'm gonna start from the top and uh, doing the lighthouse in red. Ooh, I like that idea. Red, red or red stripes would be awesome. I love that. Great idea. So let's. Um, da, 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 da. Hi, ja, 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 Sean. Oh, Amanda. Okay, nice to know Amanda because sometimes I don't know the usernames. Hello, hello. So now let's just start, let's just do the um, the lighthouse. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna just do the lighthouse first and then put it in the in the, um, the frame after. So let's just do this. We're gonna just do a little, a little triangle. Okay, we're gonna do a little triangle at the top and around that way. Okay, so there's that, and then I'm not going to put the light in yet. I probably should have done that a little, maybe a little bigger even. I could bring that down a little bit more, make it a little bit bigger. If you bent your wire like too short, you can pull it back and make it a little bigger. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the triangle. There we go, and now we're going to bring this one straight down. So let's take this, bring it down, and then take this one and bring this one down. Perfect. It's a little thin, but we can just bring the pliers in there to bring these ones down. So now we want to go this way. So we're going to bring this one over and could have put like a little light in there. I think I'm going to deal with that after. So I'm going to bring that one that way. 
And then we want to do like the, the same thing where we did the little edge. Maybe I'll just get the, um, the round pliers for that. So we're gonna bring that one around here. And then bring this one. Uh, Amanda says, I've been watching your videos. I love what you make and hope to be as good. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I have a lot of fun with the videos. That's for sure. We we had a blast doing the, the ring challenge. That one wrapped up uh, last week. And I'm having a lot of fun with the paperclip um, uh, tutorials. And I have a very fun, uh, different one coming Saturday. So look out for that. It's sort of like a mixed media wire thing, special project. So, so here then is sort of the starting point of the, of the um, lighthouse. And then you can also do lines, but maybe what I'll do is I'll add the lines after. And I could do little loops to add the lines, but I think I'm gonna keep it simple and just go ahead and attach this and then I'm gonna add some lines to it after. So I'm gonna just attach this. So this is just a basic, basic lighthouse and we're going to just attach this in place. So now let's just take this one and bring this one around here. And I don't think, I, I'm not gonna use this gold wire for anything else right now. So I'm just going to clip that one off and pinch that one in here. Okay, this is much more solid than what we had with the 22 gauge wire. And then we're going to bring this one here. I could actually put a little door in it if I wanted to, I guess. I'm just going to bring this one here. I'll bend this one around here. Just because I have so much wire, I could always do something like that. So we've got that one. And then if we want to do a little door, we could just bring that one here and here. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Makes it look more lighthousey. And then we're going to bring this one in here. Bring that one in here. It's a little crooked, but I can definitely fix that one and then bring this one around here. Okay, and we'll clip that. There we go. And perfect. So Amanda says she's in New York. Cool. I love New York. And um, you've been waiting to attach a live chat. Well, I'm happy you're here. We have some regulars that come every week. So it's, it's nice to have new people join as well. So there we go. So that is Lighthouse so far. Okay, we can just bring this one in here. And then now what we want to do, see this is sort of like, uh, yeah, we can bring this one in a little bit. There. So this is what we have so far, the lighthouse in the frame. And then now I want to do like the light thing. So I'm going to get a thinner wire to do that. And that'll help hold this in place. So let's get some, maybe the 22 gauge wire for that. 22 or 24? Maybe the 24. So I have the 24 here. Let's get some of that. And cut that one off. Uh, yeah, I've been to New York many, many, many times. Um, it's not far from Montreal. Like, it's a six-hour drive, so that's easy. Um, somehow would like to have diagonal lines on the bottom part. Yeah, I'm, I have that as an idea for lines, but also this as an idea for lines. So I, I might add them with red wire after. I like the idea of the red wire. So let's, let's put some lines on there too. I mean, I don't want it to get like overkill, but I think that at least, you know, if I do this, you guys will have some good ideas for different things you can do. So now I'm gonna add this one in here. So we'll just add the this to be the, um, the lines and what I'm thinking, I don't know if this is going to work uh, because the light should be actually inside. It's going to put the light outside. Let me just see if I have a little bead that would work there. I have more like little shiny beads too. So I have, I have yellow, I have red too. I don't know why I'm thinking red, but it's not red. Is it the light? Let me know what bead I should use for the light because I have red and I also have the white so I think was it Connie that suggested the white 
I have white as well. So let me know what color beads should be good for the light. And then I'll try to fit one of these in. These are not the smallest beads. But I have, I have amber, I have yellow, I have red, and I have these white ones. Let's see if I can find a, a small one. So let me know yellow or white. Okay. Oh, uh, Amber said, someone said, great idea, Amber. I want to make a giant version of this, a sun catcher. Ooh, that would be awesome. I cannot wait to see that. So let's try white because we did yellow. And what I'll do is I'll stick this on here. I'm going to see how I'm going to attach this. So if we put this one in here, and so that would go here. And okay, I'm just seeing how to do this. Ah, okay. What I'm gonna do is take this, bend the wire over this side. Mira says, wait, hi Mira, Mia, how are you? It's been a while, I haven't seen you on a live stream. That's nice. So let's bring this one over here and I'm gonna put one wire on top, one wire on the bottom. This one's I'm gonna just bring through here. So let's see how this, so if we fit this one in a way that, this is the idea that I had was just to stick it in here, but then these wires come out here. So what we have to do is bring this one up and then this one kind of down that way. So this will be like a going out here it's a little wonky, but it just gives you the idea. So if this goes out this way to kind of shine out there, just seeing how this is going to work. I think I'm just going to go for this. And then this one would go, but we want to like, I'm thinking we should almost turn it around here so it's going to actually hold in place, but there's not a lot of room for it to go in there. Let's try. We can just stick this one in here and grab the end might or might not work. We're going to bring this one in here. Give it a good, oh, maybe if I just twist it first, that might work. And then get this one back here. Yeah, it's got to, I have to pinch it in a little bit more. It's hard to see. So let's get in there with our pliers. Pinch it in a little bit more. Put this one in here. I should have maybe made more space in here for the light. But that's okay. And I maybe should have wound that wire in there a little bit more too. That might have been better because this is like not really holding in place. Let me just see. If I pull that one back a little bit more and bring that one here. Yeah, this is being really fiddly right now, but because uh, I want the profile of the bead. So. I think I have a different idea. I'm just going to pull this back. This, I'm being a little picky about this, but it, I don't need to be that picky. So I'm just going to bring this one back to the back here. Okay, we'll bring that one back. And then I'm going to come around to the front here, see if we could do that. And uh, Kathy, almost missed out. Oh, hello, hello, Kathy. And uh, Amber says, this is insanely brilliant, brilliant, no pun intended. Oh, you're so sweet. So don't speak too fast because we're going to see if it actually works, but we're going to do what we can. And this way you guys have a starting point for how to do the, um, the lighthouse and then we'll see how it goes. So now that works better. I looped it around from the back. That's actually working much, much better. And so this part, I'm going to just straighten them out a little bit. Okay. I think, you, Amber, too, if you're doing this larger, you're going to have a much easier time of it because it's a little tricky to do it so small. So now we're going to do this, and we'll wind this one around because we want a few uh, rays of light. Bring that one around here, and then we're going to bring it back. So we're going to see how that works if we bring it back. Okay, so we've got that one back here, back into here. I wonder if we could put it back through the bead. Let's try. Stick that back through the bead because it's it's a skinny wire, so we could probably get away with that. So we're going to bring that one back through the bead. There we go. Okay, so oh, now it's gotten a little bit distorted, but if we bend that, it should be all right. Maybe, maybe not a great idea, 
but, and then this one too, we're gonna bring this one down and bring this one up. And then we can bring this one here. And then maybe rather than bringing it through the bead, we could bend it back. I kind of want it to get, actually, you know what, I'm gonna just put it through the wire part. We're gonna put it through the wire there. Oops, that did not go through the wire. Okay, let's try that again. So we're gonna take this and go through the wire. There we go. And now it's gone through the wire, so now we're gonna push it back. And uh, now it's even more brilliant. <laughs> What a nice work that they Oh, thank you guys. I wish it was larger so I, you could see it better, but you'll I'll, I'll post pictures after. So now these got a little wobbly, but you can fix them up after. So now we have five rays of light, which is cool. And then we're just gonna bend this and finish it off. So now we'll take this, bring this one around and just give it a good little tug there because we want that to finish there. And then this one, we'll just bring it to the back and fin and clip it there. So there we go, yay. So now we're going to pinch that in and this got a little turned around, but this, we can fix it, we can do this. So, so far so good guys, a little bit wobbly in the rays department, but that's okay, we can just fix those up. And so that's what we have so far. Let's see how we're doing with regards to, I love your lighthouse, says Tish. Thank you. Very cool, says Corey. I can read that emoji. So now let's do some waves. And for sure, we'll do them in blue because that'll be pretty. And then I might put some red lines in the lighthouse. So that's cool. Let me just get some colored wire. I will get my 22 gauge. 20, that's 20, and let's see if I have 22. I have red, and I have some blue. Not a lot, but I have a bit, so. Um, what do you guys think? I have like this teal color, ice blue, that could be the waves, or I have the light blue, but I think the light blue is going to be too thick, it's 20 gauge. So why don't we go for the, what do you guys think of this one, the the ice blue? It's kind of green, but could be oceany. And then there's the red for the stripes. So let me have a sip of water. I'm gonna close my bead container because I dropped a bead container earlier today and I was so lucky it didn't come open uh, because that's happened to me before. So, um, question, have you ever done Tree of Life? Oh yes, definitely done many, many Trees of Life. In fact, we did a 10 day wire tree making challenge, which was very fun. So yeah, you can search my channel anytime for any subject and um, chances are there'll be a tutorial about it. So, and if not, chances are I will take on the challenge. I'm game for anything. So, um, Okay, so now I am going to do some waves. So let's do some waves. I actually just redid my wave ring the other day that I had done for um, out of a paper clip because I'm redoing all my thumbnails for my paper clip tutorials. So I've been having fun with that. So now let's just go ahead and do some waves. And let's remember how we did the waves. So we'll just curl it around. Let me move this out of the way. And then we're going to bend this back. Okay, bend it back here. And then we need to get, I'm gonna flip it over and actually I'll get my larger round pliers. We're gonna bring this and just curve it around. So that's, that's pretty well how you do a wave, pretty well. And then we will bring this one around Okay, trying to keep it as small as possible. We can bring, bend this one down a little bit more. Bend this one up. Okay, and the waves don't have to be the same size, so don't worry too much about that. We're gonna bend that one back, bend that around, and around here. So we've got that one, 
And then we'll get the red pliers. These, uh, as you guys know, are my favorite red pliers. And Amber found a source for these. So they now can buy these in my Amazon affiliate shop. And if you buy anything in the affiliate shop, uh, I get a very tiny percentage, which actually ends up helping to pay for prizes during the challenges. Because often I'll just send the prize winners uh, items from uh, Amazon uh, directly with the credits from my from my Amazon affiliate shop. So it it all comes around full circle. So uh, when you purchase things from the affiliate shop, it helps support the channel and helps support people participating in the challenges. So that's awesome. So here's some little waves. They're not super even, but that's, like I said, it doesn't really matter. So little waves, and now let's attach them. And perfect. Uh, oh, I missed a whole bunch of conversations. You're, Connie's gonna post something in the Wiremakers Club, okay. And what are you going to post? I think, and Celestine said, I'm just amazed. I'm just amazed. First time on your channel. Yay, I'm so happy you're here. Fantastic. And guys, if I miss your comments, uh, Connie, what are you working on? I think I missed your comment. So I'm going to attach that here. And I want to be able to like see the lighthouse, but also have room for the waves. So let me move this over a little bit. And we're gonna stick these here. I could actually put some behind and some ahead. So why don't we just stick this one here. Okay, I'm gonna flip this a little bit. I'm gonna bring this one over and I'm gonna bend this around to have another row of waves, I think. So let's do that. A tree of life, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I lost track of the conversation there. Awesome, yeah. And Kathy, Heather, bead soup was fun. Oh, yes, bead soup. My friend, my grandsons dumped my entire tackle box of beads. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and a shag carpet. Oh, my goodness. Now that sounds like a nightmare. That is funny. Yeah, we did a 10-day bead soup challenge, which was super fun. So if, if it's still bead soup, I've got lots of, lots of um, um, ideas for that. So now let's just go around and try to do another row of waves. I could have just done one. I don't have to do two, but I'll just do two for fun. So we're just gonna bring that one around and try to do another row of waves. And then we're gonna bend this one around here. Okay, and try to keep this simple. And we're gonna bring this one around here and another row. I think this one will just be two, two waves because there won't be room for three. So I uh, can't clean, that's the exact reason. I can't clean carpet, I can't stand the sound because of picking seed beads. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sound of beads getting sucked up in a vacuum. Yeah, we have central vacs, so uh, so it's it's a sound that we hear quite frequently, but we do not have carpets. We, um, we do central vac our hardwood floors, so. Uh, uh, that's that situation, although the central vac is broken, so we'll have to uh, get that fixed at some point. It came with the house when we bought the house, so I it wouldn't have been my you know choice to get it. I never occurred to me, but it's very handy. So now we want to attach these um, waves. I guess we'll have to attach them to the side so they don't like move out of place. Otherwise, I could, if you don't want to bend it around, the lighthouse, you could always just like bring it straight down. That's another option. Like, cause sometimes you wanna make the design quite clean. So what if I just brought this straight down here? The waves are a little high now, but maybe I could tuck them in a little closer together. If we bring this one like straight down, they're a little high, but that's okay. I'm just gonna attach it here. And then that way we're not like destroying the, um, the design of the of the lighthouse because the waves aren't like I'm not I don't have to wind the wire into the lighthouse so let's just do that and we're going to clip that one perfect uh, a sock over the hose works wonders for picking them up ooh now that sounds interesting and very ingenious so now we're going to take this one across here. And I'm going to, again, bring this wire straight down. 
so we don't have to destroy the um, lines on the lighthouse. Interesting. So let's take this and just bring this one around here. Okay, and then let's see if we can get some red lines in the lighthouse. Perfect. Yeah, you guys have some really good ideas. It's, it's nice to share these ideas with people in the group because we all have the same struggles, bead struggles and stuff. So let's bring this one down. I'm gonna tighten these up a little bit just so they're like a little further down. And whoopsies, looks a little bit like fire, but you kind of get the idea. And if you prefer just to do one row of waves, you can just do one row of waves too. So let's just pinch that in. Maybe bring this down a little bit more because we don't want them too high. Looks a little bit like a storm, but that's okay. So there's that, interesting. And let's put some lines in the, um, in the lighthouse. Oh, now it's, I see it's a little bit off center because it's not like straight up and down. I think the issue is this needs to be like twisted around a little bit more because I see that that one should be shorter so it sits up a little bit more, but that also, yeah, it's the, 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 the um, how do you say the, dimensions are maybe a little bit off because this seems like if it hangs like this it's going to be a little off to the side but probably not a huge deal so let's just move this down a bit okay we're just going to fix this up a little bit there i think that's fine it doesn't have to be perfect so there's that and then now let's try to put some red wires on there uh, 1 p.m. Eastern time. Oh, you, yeah, live chat. Yeah, live is at 1 p.m. Eastern time every Wednesday. Uh, and usually I go like one and a half to two hours. Today we're going to finish up at two, only because I have a lot of work that I have to do. So, uh, but normally we go a little bit longer. So, now we are going to do some stripes somehow straight across or stripe like that. I kind of like them going straight up. Yeah, so let's just do, this is actually probably too long too. So let's just cut this and start doing some stripes on here. So I'm just going to bend that a little bit and bring this one in here. Uh, is that what I want to do? Mm, I want to keep one to the front. So let me just do this. Yeah, I'm going to bring this one. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring this one here this one here and just pull it this way and then bring this one up, bring this one down around and then back up. And we want this to go up at an angle. Let's just start near the top, I guess, and bring this one down. Hopefully I have enough wire now. And then I just want to like really stop it in that corner. So now I'll just clip that end. And I also wanted to add some rocks, but that might be overkill. So we're going to do that one and then bring this one straight up. It's going to look a little bit like a barbershop pole. I'm not sure if that's what we want or not, but maybe it would have been better straight across lines. Let me just see. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Let's just do this. Okay, so stripes are usually across or angled. Okay, cool. So now uh, we're going to do this. Seven o'clock. What's that? No, 1900 is seven o'clock. Uh, three o'clock. Argent uh, in Argentina, three o'clock. Cool. So that's not that different because, I mean, Argentina is almost in the same time zone as us. Um, not quite, but almost. It's just north-south, right? Like, hard to keep track of everybody's time zone. So let's just do this. And, um, yeah, I have to wind it around again. I Hopefully I'm not going to run out of wire here. We're just going to... But this gives you a nice idea of how it might look with a little bit of extra color. And I was, for the for the stones, I was thinking actually to use beads. But if it was larger, you could use the um, stone chips, which would be like super cute too. 
So let's just bring this one down. And then I think that's going to be enough for now because we're going to run out of wire. So why don't we just like bring this one straight down and I will just bring this one up. And I think we're just going to end it there for now. And then you can always add like more wire between the, the door and that too. I could, I might add a little more. We're going to see. Anyways, those stripes are a little close together, but it gives you the idea just to just sort of like this, this design has a ton of stuff in it. You guys can take what you want. And what I'm going to do is try to get some little beads to put at the bottom. So let me see what I have for little beads. I have these little tiny beads, but what might be nice are like little uh, seed beads. I'm just going to go grab some little seed beads. Um, I'll put this here so you guys can look at it. And I'll put this one here so you can see the other designs. And I'm just going to go to my back room and get some um, seed beads. I'll be right back. So I inherited some beautiful beads from my friend Allison, and I am going to choose which ones I want. There's some cool ones. Um, I think that I think these are my favorite. These remind me of her too because uh, because they're like these little iridescent ones. She used to make like memory wire bracelets uh, and magnetic bracelets with hematite and these color beads as well. And actually, we traveled together. Our last trip together was to um, New Brunswick, and there were lots of lighthouses there. So we uh, five girls rented an Airbnb in New Brunswick, Bathurst, and we had such a beautiful, beautiful time. It was a, it was a, um, a weekend trip. We drove from Montreal. It took us 12 hours to get there because we got lost. Normally, it takes nine hours. And uh, it was Allison's last trip, and we had such a beautiful time together. It was really, really great on the ocean. I went skinny dipping in the ocean, and it was freezing, but it was so fun. Oh, my goodness. So now, that's too much information. So let's just keep making this stuff. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. I'm just missing comments. I have two millimeter elaborates I see on that side. Elaborates, what's that? Hi, Ellen. This is cute. I'll have to rewatch the yeah, and I'm sorry it's so blurry, and we're having technical difficulties today. So, <laughs> hello, Heather. Yeah, I, I should just keep my mouth shut sometimes. That's funny. Uh, Mimi and I have a have a a um, running joke. What's said in the Yaris stays in the Yaris. Yeah, we, we have some interesting conversations in the car. So let's get, actually, I'm not going to use this red for that. I think we're just going to pretend there's more red lines there. I'm going to get a tiny piece of 24 gauge wire. And that's the best story. <laughs> oh my goodness, it was amazing. Such a, such a trip. Yeah. Yeah, and at that point, Allison was on oxygen, so we had to smuggle her oxygen oxygen tanks over to... We're not supposed to travel with them, but we brought them with us, so we were bad girls. We did, like, the Thelma and Louise road trip type thing, but set with a happy ending. So, <laughs> okay, so now let's just keep going and see if these... See, these are almost too small now. Those I thought those would be good, but they're too small. So let's get some bigger ones. Uh, even better, <laughs> gangster, oh yeah. Yeah, Allison was a gangster, that's for sure. I can tell you stories, she wouldn't mind. Uh, she was actually a punk rocker in the 90s, uh, 80s, 90s in Montreal, so uh, b way before I knew her, but that's when I was selling on the street. So we always figure we probably pa crossed paths in the 90s, but um, we didn't know each other until we were we both had children, so... That's pretty cool. So now, funny lady. <laughs> oh, goodness. You guys are fun. So now, and I'm uh, almost time to go because I have to go at two. So we're just going to finish this guy up. And 
I am going to just put a few little beads just to represent the rocks. Um, maybe different sizes would be good too, I'm thinking. These aren't really, I think like stone chips would be the best. Honestly, I think these don't look much like rocks, so, but I'm going to use them anyways. Well, this one didn't go in here. So, uh, tiny gemstone as rocks. That would be great. Yeah, and I think like, um, I think little, let me just see if I have any little stones because um, I did have a bunch of uh, rock chips, but I'm not sure they're big enough. I'll show you guys what I have. And let's see what we have here. So here are my stone chips. There might be some that are a good size. Let's see. We have these. It had to be tiny though, like really, really tiny. So those could be good. Um, what have I got that small? I can hold some of these little wood chips. Yeah, these are cute. These would be fun. Um, let's see if I can find some like really small ones. There and there. And maybe have a variety of sizes, kind of like the little green one too. And um, this one maybe, there's a bunch of them. I don't know if those are gonna work or not. We can try them and I have some like little ambery ones too, but I, let's try these and see. They might be too big, but we can see. So let me remove this one for now. I will use those for another project. So there we go. And let's try some of the stones. Perfect. So hi, Sharon. There we go. Love this gets the creative. Yes, that's what I love about these live streams is, you know, we just get the creative juices flowing. And um, you guys can use uh, any of the ideas that I do on here and put your own spin on it. So let's just try to get some of these stones in here. Let's put a couple of these on here. Maybe we can vary the colors and stuff. We're going to get this one on here. I don't know how well they're going to attach. They're a little dark too, but you know what? I think just for the sake of showing you guys what's possible here, we're going to do this. So we're going to bring this one on here. And I think I'm going to look for a few more. Let me just pull this over not dump them on the floor. You know, I love is the hematite ones, but the hematite ones are pretty big. Here's like an ambery one. Let's try that one. If we can get it off, I could find the hole. Yeah, there. And then it doesn't really show up though. Maybe the greeny ones would be better. Let's see if we have some green ones. Some of them are really big. Um, this is like a spotted one or turquoise. Ooh. I have a bit of turquoise. That might be cool. Let's see if we have some turquoise in there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the turquoise is good. It's sort of like a mix. So maybe this one too. I'm gonna stick that. Oh no, that one. Some of these stones, unfortunately, the the holes get drilled like way too much to the side. So they don't like they they can break. So that's the issue with some of these stones is some of them can break because the hole is drilled to the side. I guess they do it by machine. I'm not quite sure. Um, you know what? I'm just going to wind this one and then see what else we can do after that. So we're going to bring this one around and I mean, not perfect, but that's the idea. So why don't we bring this one around here and do a couple over here. Okay. Let's do a couple on this side too. Um, I might need, you know, I might need a bigger wire. So let's just trim that one. Okay, I'm going to trim that one off. And then I think I'll do one, maybe one more in here. But th that wire, was this one was a little flat. So I'm trying to get a bigger one in here maybe. Yeah, I find the turquoise one was a little flat. So let's just take that one off and get a slightly bigger one. Maybe green's good. I like the green one, but let's uh, let's see if I can get a good sized one. Sorry I'm taking so long to decide on these. This is this one's way too big. No, maybe the orangey one. Let's try this one. 
And I'm missing your comments now. Perfection is overrated. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So now we'll get that one on there. Yeah, just to give you an impression of the stones. And then I'm going to do a couple more on the other side. So we're going to trim that. And thank you, Clarice, for sharing the uh, link to the Wire Makers Club. If you guys aren't already members on Facebook, be sure to join. Share pictures of your wire art and wire jewelry. And then now we're just going to take this one, bring this one around, and put a couple more stones, and then we'll be done. There we go. So now I am going to get a couple more stones. Um, I'm kind of wishing I went more with the green the green tones. If I had some turquoise one, oh, there's, I have purple too. Those are cool. Um, I'm just looking through all my stones. I have a whole bunch of green ones here too that might be interesting or greeny brown. Um, but sometimes when we have too much choice, it just makes it more difficult. So we're going to put that one on there. It's not the best. No, I don't love that one. I do like the green ones though, so I could try a couple of green ones. Hmm, no. Or the hematite. Actually, I like, I really like the hematite, but they're not the best, they're not the best shape. That's the issue with the hematite ones. They don't really look like stones. They're okay. Actually, I like the hematite, I really like the hematite, but they're just, they're a little bit big. But that gives you an idea of what the hematite would look like. So I would, I would opt for a hematite if I were you guys. But because um, I've started with this sort of palette, I'm just going to go with these, I'll do a couple of more, and then we'll be good to go. So let's see what else we have. That one's like, um, mm, this one's cool too. This one's like a, I don't know, it's like a reddish one. So if it's going to go on the wire, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Let's do that. Okay, so now we're just going to finish off the wire. So we want to put this one in here, wind it around, and then we're gonna be pretty well done. So I'm gonna move this. Oh, my hand's not even on the screen. Okay. Uh, oh, it's all good, two o'clock. Yes, yes, so we're gonna, we're gonna finish up. And I will do, I'll try to do more um, lighthouses based on the sketches uh, and I'll post pictures in the community section and also if you guys make some be sure to share them in the wire makers club or if you're not on Facebook you can email info at heatherboydwire.com and I will share them uh, in the community sec section so people can see what you guys are doing so now just let me twist this around and hopefully the stone is not going to break I just want to get those over here a little bit so that way you can kind of still see. So this one got a little bit crazy, but there you go. So there's, let me bring it up closer so you guys can see it. So here is the finished one. And there is also the other lighthouse. So I'll post pictures in the uh, community section so you guys can see them more clearly. Ah, oh, crazy amazing. Thanks, Amber. Thank you so much. And thank you for your help. Uh, for moderating. Thank you, Clarice and Amber, for moderating the chat here. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for hopping on. Uh, I will post a picture. I'll post the sketches too, so you guys can have a look and see what um, see uh, what you can come up with. I'm going to try a, a lighthouse ring as well. That'll be fun. So let me flip the screen. I'm going to flip it around. And perfect. So I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you guys so much for uh, hopping on a fun video coming Saturday and a live stream next week I have already an idea I forget what we're doing next week but I did I did um let me go see what we're doing next week here I'm going to just remove this perfect and I'm going to I don't know if you guys can see oh my hand is over the thing and this is my kitchen so next week we are doing Ah, no, I can't tell you what we're doing next week. It's a surprise, but it's super fun. So guys, have a great uh, rest of the day. Uh, this is my house. Whee! And I will talk to you guys next week. And the light, on the live stream, oh, look, you can see both sides of our house. There's the living room and the kitchen.
There you go. Cool. And uh, have a great afternoon, great evening, great night. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.